season is here and a lot of people have already been bitten. This week, state researchers began monitoring the mosquito population for diseases. News 8's Ken Pierce has a look at what they're doing and what you can do to stay safe. All this wet weather is going to mean standing water around Connecticut. Standing water is the breeding ground for mosquitoes. Mosquitoes spread the West Nile virus. That's why the state is already starting its mosquito trapping and testing program. We're out trapping mosquitoes at some 91 locations throughout the state. They started just this week and they'll continue all summer, just like they've been doing for 16 years. Back in the late 90s, the new disease spread panic and prompted widespread spraying. Crows were dropping dead by the dozens. Human deaths, though, have been very rare and usually only among the very old. We do see human cases here in Connecticut every year. But the risk is, is uh, manageable. Manageable if you take some steps to avoid mosquitoes. You want to cover up, um, avoid your exposure at dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active. And wear insect repellent. Plus, if there's standing water around your property, dump it out because that's where mosquito larvae grow. Experts start trapping this week because this is when the mosquito population starts growing to reach its peak in July. Then in August and September, we see peak West Nile rates in humans. Trapping and testing mosquitoes shows us where the virus is so we can stay away. We now know a lot about West Nile, the one mystery, why is it no longer killing crows? They may have developed an immunity. Scientists aren't sure. Once they've done some of the testing and the results are made public, you can track where you're most likely to get West Nile online. We've got a link on our website, WTNH.com. In Hamden, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.